Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a god ray sort of effect of volumetric lighting that you can use in Unity 3 or Unity Pro. And it's usually seen in games where if you look, if you you know lights coming through a window, and you see sort of the fading across the room, which is almost sort of like you can see that in real life sometimes if you see it through trees or um, sometimes dust when you see dust across your window with the lights coming through, you'll see a sort of volumetric light effect. Now. We're going to, you know, create this simply in Unity using uh, a plane. So all I've done, I've got my scene, which you may have seen before, and I've got a plane that I've imported in. I've just, you know, made by going game object, create other, and then plane, and just positioned it where I'd like the light to come through. So I've got a little, um, you know, really basic object, and the light's going to come through the top. Now I've positioned my plane where I'd like the actual, you know, God Ray effect to come through. So what we need to do is go into Photoshop next and create the effect that we're looking for. So what we're going to do, we're going to go new and I'm going to create a new, an, an actual new document which is going to be 1024 by 1024. I'm going to press OK and what we want to do is we want to create a new layer down at the bottom and delete this background layer we had. Now we've got no colour in this section. Now at this side it usually has the paint bucket tool now if we hold over that and we go to the gradient tool what we're going to want to do is then create a gradient I've already made one here but I'll show you how to make it now the second preset along is foreground to transparent so what I'll do is I'll just select this first color and what I'm going to do is select a yellow and choose a yellow that I'm looking for so pale yellow and then you can still see a bit of the sort of the green tinge so what I'm going to do is actually pull this all the way across so we get rid of as much as that as possible. I'll press OK and then you get your gradient tool. Now if you hold shift and left click you just you can drag down and you can make yourself that gradient. Now what I'm going to do is drag you know the majority of the way down so I get almost a half split between the colour and then it fades off to nothing. So then what I'll do is save this as God Ray New and I'll press OK. Now if I go back into Unity and import a new asset and then import God Ray New, what I'm then gonna do is add this God Ray New to the plane. Now you'll notice it's slightly changed, you know you can see it's slightly on the plane, but it's still a default colour. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on this object and we can see God Ray New has been added for with whatever shader I had before. But now I'm going to use a new shader, I'm going to use the particles and use Addictive Soft. And then what I'll do is sometimes you get a bit of edging at the bottom, you can very vaguely see the edge. Now what I'll do is I'll click on the texture that I'm using and instead of having wrap mode repeat I'll use it as clamp and then press apply and you don't actually see any um, edging at the bottom which you sometimes get with the repeating texture now what we can see now is using the actual particles um, addictive um, shader it holds the transparency but puts a softer look to it so it almost looks like light coming through so if you can see now that it almost looks like you would see in a game that light is coming through the gap and you know we can we can change things up, you know, we can make it a bit further forward, we can make it longer, we can make it wider. But we want it, you know, to cover the full space of the actual hole we've got. And, you know, you can just do different things with it depending on what you want to use it for. And it's good for, as I say, you know, windows in your game which you've got light wanting to come through. And, you know, it gives that effect of, you know, um something that you can find in Unity Pro but creating it even for you know mobile games and things like that which you know aren't always you know you can't use high processing powered um, performance assets so you just create a simple plane and add that texture to it so that's pretty much the basics of creating you know volumetric lights within Unity and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers